Good morning, Gareth Barlow with you here on Sky News. Let's turn our attention, shall we, to the climate, because last month was the hottest January on record. That's according to the European Corn... Corn... Oh, well, I'll try that again, but the Climate Change Service. Uh, the findings have stunned scientists who were expecting a slight fall in global temperatures. Well, according to the latest data, last month was more than three-quarters of a degree above the 1991 to 2020 global average for January. It also found that last month was 1.75 degrees warmer than pre-industrial levels. Compared to the same time last year, January 2025 was nearly a tenth of a degree hotter on a global scale. And although parts of Western Europe saw wetter than average conditions, which led to flooding in some areas, temperatures across the continent were two and a half degrees above the 1991 to 2020 average for the month itself. Well, joining us now is our science correspondent, Thomas Moore. And Thomas, like I say, scientists were expecting actually a slight drop in January's global temperatures uh, compared to this time last year, but it, it didn't come to fruition. And conversely, the opposite took place instead. Yeah, that's right. And, and they are baffled by that. Uh, last year uh, was extremely hot, the hottest year uh, on, on record. Uh, and there had been an expectation uh, that that was largely due or partly due to uh, a climate phenomenon or rather a natural weather phenomenon in, in the Pacific Ocean called El Nino, which warms the atmosphere, added about 0 0.2 degrees. But that, uh, that current has now flipped and that should have started to cool the atmosphere, but that hasn't happened. Uh, and, and that is a worry that perhaps the upward trend now uh, is as a result of uh, carbon dioxide and methane emissions is, is happening uh, much stronger than they had uh, anticipated, that the climate is proving more sensitive uh, to those emissions uh, than the models would suggest, and, and that this is going to result in even wilder weather uh, than we had last year, if you think back to the droughts that led to uh, the LA uh, wildfires, the uh, flash floods from intense rainfall uh, in Valencia, and indeed intense rainfall here in the UK. Uh, so all these things are now attributed uh, to uh, climate change, that that is making natural weather systems much more aggressive, much worse, uh, with greater effects uh, on our built environment and, and it is going to prove expensive uh, to adapt to this accelerating climate change. Live in our newsroom for us, uh, Thomas Moore, thank you so much.